Hello again from Joe No Stuff TV. Today, let's talk about a mini vlogger or vlogging system that we can hook to the GoPro Hero 6. Go to intro. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Today, I'm going to show you how to make a mini vlogging system for the GoPro 6. Now, why should I make a GoPro vlogging system? Well, for one thing, they're small. They, great, they take great pictures, they uh, introduce well into formats like Facebook and YouTube, and they're just an overall great camera. Uh, another thing, a vlogging system, why, why shouldn't I just use my GoPro and by itself? Why do I have to make a system? Because the audio sucks on a GoPro. Uh, you can see I've got a desktop mic here that I'm using, and uh, I'm hoping it produces a good job. I haven't reviewed them too tight yet the videos I've been making but uh, you gotta have a good microphone and the GoPro does not have a good microphone so that's what I'm gonna show you I'm gonna show you how to build a small microphone to go on your GoPro handheld device that's tiny it's tiny then I'm gonna show you how to make a big one the big one can be expandable it's crazy looking and I love it I can't wait to start filming you know going to do that shit alright here we go first of all you're gonna need a GoPro GoPro Hero 6 is the camera on the market that is the best. Take it out of its existing frame. Uh, it's always sticky. Always sticking in the frame. If you don't get it at the right perfect angle, it doesn't want to come out. But that's good. A tight fit means it shake, won't shake around and vibrate. Set the frame, frame aside grab one of these guys these are the shit they're like 26 bucks off of uh, eBay or Amazon and they come with one hot one hot shoe I bought the additional hot shoe for like four bucks and you, it comes with a filter a UV filter which is more or less a piece of glass but you can take the filter off if you want to do, use it that way I don't use a filter unless I use ND filters which is 52 millimeter so if you've got 52 millimeter filters lying around you can use them real good. Comes with a lens cap to protect your lens. Comes with one hot shoe, and you put it anywhere. And I bought this hot shoe. I don't really use it, but it's four bucks. What the heck? All right. The one thing I don't like about it is this little side clamp. You have to make sure this is mashed in before you put your GoPro in. You just slide it in, and then you tighten this down. Now, if you tighten it too down, you're going to get a dent in your camera. You, you probably will end up with a dent in your camera. All right, that's the first step. The second step is to give it a handle. The littlest, or the smallest, the littlest handle is the little tripod here, which is great for vlogging because you can set it down on a rock and go over in front of the beach and take a picture. All right, I don't have a, an adapter here. Let's see what we've got in here that we can use as an adapter. I'll take it off of this rig. Let's see, I'll just take it right off of this. I've got a bunch of these lying around. Matter of fact, there's probably one right there. Yep. I'm the king of collecting stuff. I've got a ton of stuff. What behind you over there is old backpacks full of old you know, obsolete things. Alright, this is easy to go in. I'll get you a screw. Oh, let's see, there's one right there. Not being used. I've got a whole box of YouTube, of YouTube, of GoPro uh, adapters, you name it. Getting these set can be a pain in the ass sometimes. All right, set your frame up. Got a good little tripod and a good little selfie stick. Make sure it's tight. And you got a good little selfie stick, you can adjust it to where it's ready to go. Now, how do you get the sound in there? Well, first of all, we're going to have to take the GoPro back out and take the door off. Now, when you take the door off, it makes it not waterproof. So always remember that. Don't get caught in the rain without a rain sheath. When you take the door off, you push the button, pull it down, and then turn it a little bit. Turn it just a little bit, but you more or less pull on it. And what you're doing is you're unclamping a C. That's a C, and that's a pole or a pipe or a 
bracket. Now take it off, then put it back in, and don't lose the door. Don't lose the door. That's very important. Uh, I'm even going to get a little drawstring bag that I can put it in because it's easier to lose something like this than it is if it's in a drawstring bag or something. Okay, you got to have this adapter here because GoPro doesn't come. It'd be so simple if they'd come with a 3 8 inch adapter and just plug that baby right in. I mean, that'd just be that'd just be too sweet because you could turn the mic at that point so that it faces your subject, and that would just be so sweet if that's all your vlog vlogging rig is. But I recommend turning it to where it's up and then plugging it in that way. And then all I do is make it look tacky as hell by putting a rubber band around it. Now, I've seen people use uh, uh, what they call straps, zip ties, zip ties. But I tend just to use a rubber band because I'm not that picky. Get a black rubber band, you'll never notice it. Uh, it does obscure your screen a little bit. But you can also get a zip tie. And how they do the zip tie is they unscrew the one of the hot shoes and they put the zip tie under it, two of them, on either side of the screw, then screw it back down. The zip tie comes out like that. And then they just loop this around it. But this is fine for me. I'm not that picky. Uh, and then boom, you got a belonging rig right there, folks. That is it. That is as simple as that. It's cheap. It's ready to be angled at any angle for selfies or time lapses or videos of any kind. Now, you can also mount it on something like this and it'll turn it as you vlog. Let's say you're in this side of the screen and your camera's pointed that way and you want to capture, you want a reveal shot. You want to reveal the mountains that's behind you. There's beach over here, there's mountains over here, and you're sitting over here. Set your camera up to where it barely captures you on the left hand side of the screen and then as, the, as you do your vlog or do your talk or whatever it turns and reveals the mountains beside the beach that's behind you. So get real creative with your photography, folks. I'm going to be having a lot of lessons on how to get creative with your photography. Don't forget to pet your dead cat. They need the attention because they're fucking dead. Oh, my first cuss word. Oh, well, you might hear some more. All right, good thing about this, once again, you can screw filters on here. So if you're in a bright, sunny day, your GoPro seems to be burning the highlights, put your little ND filter on there. You go from there. Another thing you can do with the GoPro is hook to the app and you can operate your GoPro through here. You can, this, is, this becomes a remote control for your GoPro and it also becomes a viewer. You can see it and it's a lot easier than seeing through that little two inch monitor. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. I want you to go out and collect and vote. And I also want you to go out and vlog. If you like this video, please feel free to subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Give a brother some love. Later.